I'm sure by now most of you have heard of the horrible terrorist attacks that have happened in the land of Israel just in the last couple of weeks. Almost two weeks ago, two Israeli police officers were killed just outside the Temple Mount when three Muslim terrorists opened fire on them from weapons that they had smuggled in. And just last week when a family was sitting down to their Friday night Sabbath meal, also to celebrate the birth of the recent son with friends and family, a Muslim terrorist entered their front door with a knife and stabbed and killed three members of the family. And while most people's response to terrorism and attacks like this would be um, wanting a vengeance and much of the world would respond with violence, the Jewish people have a very different response to terrorism, which I think is absolutely incredible. Because when something like this happens, instead of saying we should respond with more violence or attack them back, they say no, the positive thing to do would be to build or settle a new family in the land or plant a new vineyard. And this morning, I'm standing in the Mount of Blessing and we're participating in one of those things. Jeremiah said more than 3,000 years ago that there would be vineyards planted on the mountains of Samaria again. And we are standing right here this morning planting a new vineyard. Not only that, but 30 Christian Zionists from seven different countries around the world are here participating in this because the prophets also said that the nations would be coming and they would be taking part in what is happening in the land. So it's an incredibly positive thing that in the wake of all this death and destruction, we can plant a new vineyard in just a few years that we'll see the fruit coming out of this and it'll be growing and blossoming and blooming and we'll be seeing new life coming from the land. But in Amos 9, it says, I will bring back the captives of my people Israel. They shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink wine from them. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit from them. I will plant them in their land, and no longer shall they be pulled up from the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. So as Christians from the nations who believe that God's promise to Abraham is still true with the Jewish people, our goal is to support and bless the Jewish people in their God-given land, in that covenant that we believe is valid and true today. And as we're here planting a new vineyard, we want to see the day when the Jewish people will be established in the land and they will no longer be pulled up from this land that God has given them.